in my career, I've been busted up, broken both collarbones, ribs, shoulder blade. I have seven other vertebrae that I've fractured in compression fractures. Sometimes the horses run and, and, and you're ready for a win and the horse go whoop, like that. All of a sudden, I start going down. That's it. I mean, I don't even remember anything. Are we a tool? Are we a, a person? Without us, the game won't go, but we need respect to us, too. How are you? Hi, Jackie, how are you? Good to see you. Last month, Hall of Fame rider Jackie Martin paid a visit to Sunland Park Racetrack in New Mexico, where a silent auction was underway to raise money for his growing medical bills. Just six months before, Martin was the most sought-after jockey in the Southwest. The winning rider taking both the stakes today, Jackie Martin. But that changed on September 2, 2011. They're running! when a three-year-old horse named Firepower suddenly broke down past the finish line, slamming Martin into the ground. The next thing I can really remember is trying to, trying to get to him, to the ambulance, and him crying and hollering, telling me he couldn't feel his arms, and he couldn't move. Martin's spine broke in three places, leaving him paralyzed from the neck down. He spent three months recovering in a Houston hospital before returning home to New Mexico. I don't remember hardly much. I remember getting on the horse. In the paddock, and that's the last thing I remember. According to a New York Times analysis, 24 horses die on U.S. racetracks every week. Jockeys are on the front lines. Riding races is very dangerous. And uh, we'd overlooked that because we liked it. You're looking at Jackie Martin, the first four-time winner of this race. Martin is widely considered one of the greatest quarter horse jockeys of all time. In his career, he won the All-American Futurity, the most distinguished competition in the quarter horse game, a remarkable seven times. Well, Jackie Martin has uh, now gone into history here. He had what everyone felt is the, the best set of hands on a horse. And the hands are the telegraph between the animal and the rider. At the time of the accident, Martin was at the top of his game for the second time. It was a redemptive return. In 2006, he was charged with poaching a deer and possession of a small amount of an illegal drug. He was put on probation and barred from racing for four years. He went through the, a morning for his loss of racing. It took a while, and then he finally took ownership of what he had done wrong. In the summer of 2010, Martin was cleared to race again. They're running. When he returned to Riodoso Downs, owners lined up to offer him mounts. He won his first race, I think the third day he rode. Dashing Little Cartel and Jackie Barton. The winds kept coming and coming. And Jackie Martin, and what have I got to do? Not much more. What have I got to do? Wins by a length of first prize Lisa. Someone of his absolute outstanding skills, hungry, was probably the most lethal thing in person ever seen on the racetrack. The winning rider, Jackie Martin. And the winning rider, Jackie Martin. And the winning rider is Jackie Martin. It seems like, you know, after I've been off for four years, and the, the comeback is just, you know, maybe that much better. I've never, ever seen anybody come back like Jackie did. He didn't lose one inch of his riding ability. I think this is going to be a little special. Jackie Martin. Martin was awarded Quarter Horse Jockey of the Year in 2010. Last year, you burst onto the scene like a newcomer in the second half of the year and, and take the nation by storm. Can you put any of this into perspective, What's what it's been like recently? Uh, you know, it was it was really hard for me. Uh, you know, I guess. Uh, I think Jackie and I both agree that it was probably the greatest accomplishment of his career. 
when they stood up and they named him. Everybody's put here for a reason, and uh, his was to be a race rider, and he was an awesome race rider. Chris Zamora is also a former jockey, with more than a thousand wins and his own fair share of racing accidents. On November 25, 2008, his horse clipped heels with another, sending him hurtling to the ground. Both horses landed on top of him. Chicky joins them in having to check back severely and falling. Falling with sinful hearts. I broke every rib, punctured both lungs, uh, lacerated liver, and perforated heart, uh, pelvis broken four places, back in three places, neck in two places, and a fracture from the front of my head to the back. Zamora recovered from his injuries and cautiously returned to racing. But the accident of his friend, Jackie Martin, was a warning he could not ignore. He retired from riding less than a month later. It just made me step back and realize what you put your family through. Martin remains unable to breathe on his own. All the doctors, and there's been a lot of them, have repeatedly told me that the ventilator damages his lungs and the longer he stays on it, the, the ventilator will, will shorten his life expectancy significantly. And yet, despite the potential risk of a horse breaking down, jockeys like Jackie Martin say there's no other way to live. I wouldn't change a thing. I guess if you'd give me a, a chance to say you're not paralyzed and you never rode a racehorse, I'd have to take the paralyzed, you know. There's not a better feeling than riding. Not, not to me.